Global Gap Certification in the banana industry. The question is asked, what is Global Gap? Now, Global Gap is an internationally recognized set of farm standards, uh, which is geared towards achieving three main objectives. That's one, ensure food security, safety to its customers, to ensure safety to the environment, as well as safety to the workers. And what is the banana boar's role in Global Gap? Now, the banana board is the only recognized Global Gap um, option two producer group in Jamaica. And they are also what is referred to as the central technical function. What it really means is that, bearing in mind that small farmers, small producers, they are not able to implement the total quality management system that is required, which involves a lot of documentation, high costs. Based on those factors, you know, there needs to be an entity that will, so to speak, hold the hands of these farmers and to guide them towards achieving global gap. And so this entity is the banana board. Global Gap Certification. Global Gap Certification is a worldwide recognized standard for good agricultural practices. It includes food safety and traceability, the environment, workers' health, safety and welfare, integrated crop management, integrated pest control, quality management system, hazard analysis, and critical control points. Global Gap certification helps the farmer to achieve greater efficiency in production. It also helps to improve business performance and reduces waste. All Global Gap certification system must have a quality management system. The Banana Board's quality management system is governed by the Banana Board Quality Management System Manual. This manual guides the entire operation as well as the operation of the farm. The quality management system and the manual are reviewed and revised annually. The quality management system is very comprehensive and it ensures that the registered farms complied in a uniform manner with Global Gap standard requirements. The Banana Board has a management structure and sufficient suitable trained staff to effectively ensure that the requirements of Global Gap are met by all registered banana farms. Members of the management staff conduct a documented management review annually and make the necessary changes to the manual. The organizational structure is documented and comprised of individuals who have different responsibilities. The general manager of the Banana Board is the person who develops the quality management system. She is also responsible to ensure that all the practitioners in the system are adequately trained. These practitioners include the manager, the auditor, the inspectors and the farmers. The coordinator of research manage, manages the quality management system for the Banana Board. The analyst is the internal auditor for the QMS. The internal auditor conducts the internal audit of the quality management system and verifies the internal inspections. The extension officers operate as farm assurers. That is, they help farmers to implement the standards. They are also inspectors of farms, but not in their jurisdiction. Internal inspection of each farm is conducted annually. Records of training and qualification are maintained for each key personnel involved in compliance with Global Gap requirements to demonstrate competence. The quality management system includes detailed and rigorous requirements which the farmers must comply with in order to achieve farm certification. These requirements are internally assessed by the Banana Board Global Gap inspectors and internal auditor, followed by 
external assessments by the international auditor. Assessment is done according to the Global Gap Quality Management System checklist to ensure compliance with the standards. The quality management system checklist includes several areas, namely, one, the food safety policy declaration, <clears throat> which includes the name of the farm, the owner or the manager of the farm and their signature indicating that the farmer is committed to ensure that food safety is implemented and maintained throughout the production processes up to the release of the product. Secondly, it also includes rules of the quality management system. And in addition, it includes internal auditor and inspector qualifications and responsibilities, produce handling and residue monitoring system checklist. And there are 12 requirements which Banana Board and the registered farmers must comply with to achieve certification. And these are as follows, the legality, administration and the structure, document control, complaint handling, internal quality management system audit, self-inspection, internal inspection, non-compliance, corrective action and sanctions, produce traceability and segregation, withdrawal of product, subcontractors, registration of additional farmers or, or farms to the certificate, and the use of the Global Gap logo. The legality, the administration, and the structure. Banana Board must present legal documentation which states that the board belongs to a legal entity. Upon the satisfaction that the board is a legal entity, a contractual arrangement can be entered with Global Gap through the signature of a Global Gap sub-license and certification agreement with a Global Gap approved certification body. Banana Boy can only operate one quality management system per crop per country. If a producer group or multi-site join another producer group or multi-site, the two quality management systems must be merged into one to be managed by one single legal entity that will be the certificate holder. There is a written contract between each farmer and the banana board, and the farmers are legally responsible for their production sites or for their farms. Document control. All documentation relevant to the operation of the quality management system for Global Gap are controlled by the banana board. These documents include the quality management system manual, the global gap operating procedures, work instructions on the farms, recording forms for application of all inputs such as fertilizers and pesticides. There are also records for harvesting operations, cleaning schedule for toilets, packhouses, vehicles, tools and equipment. And there are also records for new eras planted and many more. Also, document control includes the relevant external standards such as the Global Gap current documents. The contents of the quality management system manual developed by the Banana Board is reviewed annually or as often as is necessary to ensure that it continues to meet the requirements of the Global Gap standards. The quality management system manual includes several procedures and risk assessments which individual farms must adhere to in order to achieve certification. Work instruction and detailed records are developed by the Banana Board to demonstrate effective control and implementation of the quality management system and compliance with the requirements of Global Gap standards. Records are kept for a minimum of two years. Records can be done electronically or manually, and majority of our farmers are unable to complete the records electronically or manually, 
and therefore require the assistance of the extension officers to complete the records. Complaint handling. Banana Board has a system for effectively managing customer complaints and the relevant part of the complaint system is made available to the registered farmers. There is a documented procedure that describe how complaints are received, registered, identified, investigated, followed up, and reviewed. Internal Quality Management System Audit. The quality management system for the Global Gap Scheme is audited annually. External audit of the quality management system is done twice per year, once for the announced audit and once for the unannounced audit. For the announced audit, the square root of the total number of farms registered is audited. And for the unannounced audit, half of that number is audited. For example, if there are 36 registered farmers, for the announced audit, six farms are audited. And for the unannounced audit, half of that, which is three, so three farms would be audited for the unannounced audit. Members of the Banana Board Audit Team do not know the names of the farms which will be audited until the end of the QMS external audit, uh, which is actually the night before the auditing of the farms. Self-inspection. The, the farmer does an annual inspection of his system against all the relevant global gap control points and compliance criteria with the guidance of his or her extension officer before the internal audit is done. Internal inspection. Inspections are carried out by inspectors or extension officers at each registered farm at least once per year against all the relevant global gap control points and compliance criteria. Non-compliance corrective action and sanctions. There is a procedure to handle non-compliances and corrective actions which may result from internal or external audits and or inspections, customer complaints or failures of the quality management system. Product traceability and segregation. There is a documented procedure whereby each farmer with his or her own unique identification number facilitates traceability of both conforming and non-conforming products. A mass balance exercise is carried out annually to demonstrate compliance with the legal entity. Withdrawal of product. Documented procedures are in place to effectively manage the withdrawal of registered bananas. This may be necessary where the product where product contamination occur by chemical, physical, or biological means. Subcontractors. Where any services are subcontracted by third parties, procedures exist to ensure that these activities are carried out in accordance with the requirements of Global Gap Standards. Registration of additional farmers or farms to the certificate. New, far new farms can be added, subject to the internal approval procedures being met. So new farms can be added to the certificate. When this happens, the Banana Board immediately informs the certification body so the necessary addition or withdrawal from the list of registered farmers can be done. The use of the Global Gap logo. The farmer or, or Banana Board can use the Global Gap word, trademark, or logo and the global gap numbers according to the general regulations and according to global gap sublicense and certification agreement. The global gap word, trademark, or logo cannot appear on the final product, on the consumer packaging, or at the point of sale, but the certificate holder, which is Banana Board, can use any 
and are all in business to business communication. The Global Gap Integrated Farm Assurance Standard covers the certification of the whole agricultural production process of banana before it is planted up to when it is consumed. The Integrated Farm Assurance is beneficial to farmers, workers, consumers, and the environment. It reduces food safety risks in primary production, and workers must be trained on the safe use of pesticides. The integrated farm assurance control points and compliance criteria are separated into different modules or sections, each one covering different areas or levels of activity on a farm. These sections are grouped into one, scope such as all farm base and crop base. Two, modules or subscopes which cover more specific production details such as fruits and vegetables. There are a total of 222 control points, 58 belonging to all farm base, 108 belonging to crop base, and 56 belonging to fruit and vegetables. All farm base would cover areas such as site history and management, record keeping, internal self-assessment, hygiene, worker health, safety and welfare, subcontractors, complaints, food defense, etc. Crop base include areas such as fertilizer application and storage, water quality and management, integrated pest management, plant protection products, records, handling, storage, residue analysis, disposal of pesticide containers, etc. Fruit and vegetable include pre-harvest, harvest and post-harvest activities. The control points and compliance criteria consist of three types of control points. There are major must, minor must and recommendations. To obtain Global GAP certification, there must be 100% compliance with all applicable major must and QMS control points. 95% compliance with all applicable minor must control points. And for the recommendations, no minimum percentage of compliance is required. The certification body will make the certification decision within a maximum of 28 calendar days after closure of any outstanding non-conformances. We will now go into this session which will include a practical demonstration of a mini audit of one of the Global Gap certified farms. Good morning Mr. Clark. I am Desmond Edwards from the Banana Board. Along with me is Mr. Everett. So we are here today to verify the compliance of Global Gap requirements using the Global Gap Integrated Farm Assurance Checklist version 5.4 option 2. We're not here to find any fault with your workers or your operation. We're just here you now to confirm and to give you time if you had any non-conformances to give you time to correct them. Whatever information you give us will be kept strictly confidential. And this operation here will expect to last for about 30 minutes. Then we will go to the farm and do some processing there and then back to the packing station. Okay, all right, as I mentioned before, we'll be using this integrated farm assurance um, checklist. And there are some areas here that we need to fill out before we get into all the questions that I'm gonna be asking you. So I'm gonna ask, the first I'm gonna ask you, you know, what's the name of the, the company? Rumble Banana. And the owner? Noel Clark. Today is the 24th. Yes, it, um, this, this document that I'm filling out is known as the Food Safety Policy Declaration. So I'm just going to ask you to, uh, to sign here for me.
will now move to the farm to have a look at the harvesting. Okay. I'm about to cut it down. Oh, I know that it's ready to be harvested. The color. This color is telling you that it's, the fruit is 12 weeks old. As food safety is concerned, there has to be annual um, food safety training for all staff members annually. Right? There has to be proper records that are kept of all of the post-harvest chemicals that are used to ensure that the correct rates are used. All right? There has to be a, a good um, water quality, water quality to, to ensure that um, both for both the, the workers and um, for the for the, the, the fruit that is being processed. The water has to be portable and so we have to do tests, annual tests, water quality checks to ensure that we are compliant in that area as well. Good toilet facilities has to be in place. Good um, storeroom facilities. As far as the yes, safety of the environment is concerned, um, there has to be a um, record to show the disposal of, of chemicals, right? We have to show records how those chemicals are, are, are utilized and are, and are disposed of as well. There is also the aspect of the workers now, where they, we have to ensure that they utilize their protective gears. They have to demonstrate how they are cleaned, how they are stored. Right? There is also an annual health check that must be done each year just to ensure that workers that are handling pesticides, um, they, are, they remain healthy while they are utilizing um, chemicals, right? They have to. We have to demonstrate also that they are trained. Evidence of training um, for these uh, workers that utilize these these chemicals. Okay, um, Mr. Clark, um, we happy to see what. What we saw, but there are a few things I want, questions I have for you. I noticed in packing the tree that that sleeve that you, uh, you took from the bananas, that you put it in the tree and then you put some green um, leaf over it. Why? Because the, uh, the sleeve might have a lot of um, on residue of the dirt, man, the chemical. Okay. You know what? It's to contaminate the food. Okay. Okay, good. What's the weight of the fruit you put in the box? 40 pounds of fruit. Okay. Alright, um, I looked at your first aid kit and there was an item there which expired. The hydrogen peroxide. Oh. Hydrogen peroxide expired from November 2020. Oh. Okay. Um, so in that case, we'll just give you that's the only um, non conformance we found. Okay. So you have to make sure that each time that you purchase you purchase things for the first aid kit, you have to keep looking at them to see when they expire and to replace them. Okay. So um, when the big just the just corrective action that you remove that and you get fresh supply. Okay. Other than that, um, there's nothing else that we find to be non-conformance. Thanks, thanks for having us and continue to do the good work you're doing. <laughs>